the College of Engineering, uh, we recently celebrated our, our 130th anniversary of the engineering education here at ONU this past year. Um, we've been uh, at engineering education for a long time, and, and our focus here at Northern is on the undergraduate student. We have uh, no graduate programs in the College of Engineering, so uh, we focus solely on educating undergraduate students in uh, a wide variety of engineering disciplines, uh, mechanical, electrical, computer engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, and our newest major in engineering education. And uh, that's a big highlight for us. It's a new degree program educating uh, students uh, who are both engineers as well as, uh, as well as teachers who will be able to go back into the high school setting and teach, uh, teach mathematics in high school. And actually we've had uh, a number of students come into the program because they want to be high school coaches. Uh, they see uh, sort of a, an interplay between engineering and education that's happening uh, in, in high schools and middle schools and uh, they want to be both an engineer and a teacher, and this is a perfect match for them, and quite a few, a number of those folks have uh, indicated their desire to be. About 25% of our students in the College of Engineering are student athletes. Um, we're one of the few Division Three programs in the United States that offers an engineering program, um, and so we have a lot of students that come to us because they want to be both. They want to be an athlete and an engineer, and we provide that, that learning environment for them, that environment that helps them succeed both on the athletic field as well as in the, in the classroom. I'm Kimmy Connor. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. My major is engineering. Um, I chose ONU because the class sizes were, were really small. Um, student to faculty were really good, so if you ever needed help, they were always there to help you. Um, and just the people at ONU were all really friendly and nice and willing to help. The type of students that, that we recruit and those that want to come here and then and come to our campus and, and uh, walk our, our hallways are those that are really well-rounded individuals. They are strong academically, meaning they can, they can handle the academic program that we offer here, which is a rigorous academic program, no doubt. Every student is challenged, no matter whether they've been challenged in high school or not, they will be challenged in their degree program within the College of Engineering at some point. Some, some. The athlete represents someone who has been obviously part of a team and understands team dynamics. Uh, they worked as part of a larger uh, group to help that group succeed. So for me as an employer, if I saw that, and then the other thing I would mention is if you see a student who, an engineering or a computer science student, who has made it through a four-year program both as an athlete and as a student, that's saying something. Uh, and even for not just our soccer students, but also I think of the track and field and the cross country students who are added all throughout the academic year. Those that really make that year long commitment. What a time commitment that is. And, and to be able to balance your, your studies along with your academics and your athletics, I'm sorry, your studies and your athletics is really a tremendous time commitment. Um, in engineering, we do a lot of different projects that. I mean, help us in the real world, I guess. Um, the coolest project we've done is help, um, we picked an impoverished country and we had to uh, figure out different things they could implement to help their day-to-day -day life um, become easier. So that was pretty cool. And um, in the summer, uh, some engineers went down and actually implemented some of the different different ideas, so that was pretty cool.